So we are back here with the Oakland A's franchise on MLB The Show 18. So where we last left off, we're getting into their all-star break. Team is actually looking surprisingly good. I know we're 46 and 40, just right out of the wild card division, probably out of the uh, with the Astros just taking that away. But what I want to do is just sim forward here because I, I'm not sure what I really want to do. I just want to rebuild this team. And you can see we sim forward here and we just went on a complete losing streak. So for me, I'm just giving up on this season here. Uh, I know it's crazy to think, but I, this is a team that even if we get close to the playoffs, it's not going to make any noise in the playoffs. We need to rebuild this team, really, and get better, you know, get younger guys, build up our minor league system, and see what we can do going forward. As you see, a couple of trades have gone down, and that's where we're going to start. So this is going to be all pretty much about trades. First guy on the list, Chris Davis. So we're going to head to the Washington Nationals, try to get Juan Soto here, one of the top 100 prospects, number two prospect, according to uh, MLB.com, on the Nationals team uh, organization. Excellent hitter. We're going to try to get this done. So we're going to give up Davis Pagan and just a minor leaguer, and we'll get that one done. So that gives us some depth and somebody to look forward to in the outfield for sure. So next, it's going to be Andrew Triggs. We're going to go to the Phillies. So I tried to get Sixto Sanchez. Could not work. So we go to Adonis Medina. He is number four in MLB.com for the Phillies in top ten. He has a great fastball. We get another reliever in the deal as well. So next, we're going to go with Liam Hendricks. And we're going to head to the Atlanta Braves organization. And we're going to try to trade here for Mike Sorka, another top 100 prospect. Very good pitcher. Has a great fastball. So we're going to have to give up Hendricks. Joseph and we're gonna get that deal done so we bring over another pitcher to help out our depth and now you can see in the minor leagues we have some guys here going forward uh, we have some depth finally for pitching prospects that maybe just even a year away so next we're gonna go Lucroy so we're just kind of cutting this team here Jonathan Lucroy is next so what we're gonna do is go to the Mets and we're just going to take away a few, you know, these guys are top prospects, but Alonzo Peterson, Justin Dunn, guys that can give us depth in the organization. And still, you know, for the Mets organization, they were top 10 prospects. So we will take it. They're in need of a catcher here trying to make a playoff run. So we'll do that deal. And those are the trades here. So I think we did pretty well, picked up a lot of guys here. And now we can start to think about, you know, heading into this offseason. Start to, uh, you know, we're in rebuild road right now. As you can see, we were 27th overall in really talent. Not really going to go anywhere. And that's why I kind of just, you know, gave up on this season, really. Um, just wanted to see, you know, where I was going to go forward. And after that, about six game losing streak, I just said, you know, forget it. Let's just start to tear this down now. So that's what we're doing. We're just going to go here to the end of the season. You see now we're just well out of it. We're dropping off now. Um, yeah. I think this would have happened regardless, but we just took took advantage and got as many prospects as we could going forward, as that's pretty much going to be our season as we finish the months off not very well and finish with a 76 and 86 record here for season number one, obviously missing out on the playoffs, and that'll bring um, the end of this regular season. So let's just take a look at the guys here left on the team, what they did. Um, leading uh, batter, Steven Viscotti, he was uh, killing it for a while there, but you see... Dropped into 300, and you can see nobody really hitting on this team. Nobody. I mean, when you only have two guys over 270, that's not what you want uh, at all. Matt Olson, 32 homers, leading the uh, team there. Joyce with 21. We didn't even have a guy with 100 RBIs. Um, 13 stolen bases there. That's not bad. So Biscotti leading, obviously, with on base and everything. So the hitting will have to definitely improve going into next season. Um, I thought this was going to be a strength of this team, but as you can see, really struggled this year. And the pitching was a different story, so I thought the pitching wasn't going to be very, you know, not something we could do anything with. But actually, not too bad of a season. I know a lot of loss, the win-loss record I wouldn't even worry about, but you can see the ERA. We only had two guys over four, so all our starters are under four, which is outstanding. Uh, better than I could even really imagine. I thought we were going to have guys that absolutely struggled. Um, so the pitching did well. And the hitting did do. So the two things kind of switched. So that'll be stuff to look at going forward here into next season. Go through some of the awards. Uh, Trout, that's just an outstanding season. He wins that MVP. Kershaw uh, wins the MVP there. Wow. So Cy Young, Kluber once again. Kershaw 
there with the Cy Young. Just keep rolling forward here. I don't expect anybody really on our team to get anything. We really didn't have any outstanding things. So we just got to really look forward here to the offseason. And, you know, there might be some big-time free agents here in the offseason. We'll see. Could be Harper, Machado. Um, not sure who it's going to be, but... Um, we're really not going to go for those guys anyway. We're going to go more of a second-tier level, and I'm thinking maybe we'll have to take a look. You know, what? one thing we didn't have was a lot of veteran guys. It's very young, which I'm I'm totally fine with on this team, but I think uh, we're going to have to bring have some sort of influx of some rookies and veterans on this team, and then maybe, you know, some of the young guys we traded for might not be ready next year, but a year after, so maybe we can kind of have that stopgap pick up some veteran guys, try to make a playoff run, and even if we don't, kind of do the same thing we did this year, come on the all-star break, we can kind of just turn those guys around and build up even more, and uh, hopefully those at that time, those younger guys who may not be ready coming into this season, maybe towards the middle of the season, to the end of the season, they're ready to go, and you know, but we'll see, maybe next year, who knows, some of the young guys just take off. And we can start, you know, a playoff run from there. So you, you just, we'll see what happens. Um, I think the way the Astros did it, you know, just it was a few years of losing, but they build up that system and really have those core group of guys that can lead you somewhere. Uh, obviously worked out, winning a World Series there uh, last year. So we'll take a look at the final standings here. Take a look at who's going to be in the playoffs this year. The Yankees win that division easily. Man, the Red Sox didn't even finish over 500. Unbelievable there. That's really a surprise. Uh, the Central Indians, that's not a surprise. The Twins make the playoffs once again. Royals, Tigers, White Sox fall off there. White Sox losing over 180 games. Astros, 106 wins. And the Mariners will get the second wild card there. Uh, 87 victories. We still finish in third. Uh, finish above the Angels, which that's a surprise too. I thought they'd be a lot better. And the Rangers are losing. Over 100 games, Twins, Mariners, Blue Jays just missing out there by two games. So we had the uh, National League Nationals win that division. And look at the Phillies, 90 and 72, and they did not make the playoffs. Wow, 90 wins, and you do not even get a wild card? Unbelievable there. So we'll head to the Central. Cubs win 108 games. Brewers win 94. They're back in the playoffs. Cardinals, 87 win team, not in the playoffs. So an 87-win team and a 90-win team not in the playoffs. Dodgers win 107 games. Diamondbacks get in. And the Rockies, who won 86 games. So you have some, at least three pretty good teams there, not even in the playoffs. And, wow. I mean, you have, you have division leaders winning around 105 games. That's, that's tough, obviously, to make a wild card. You're going to have to be outstanding. So uh, this was just a quick one. We ended up just simming the rest of the season, making some huge trades there. So what I'll do here, you can see the playoff bracket there. We'll go to the offseason. We'll see who wins the World Series, and hopefully we can continue to uh, build this A's team for next year. And we'll see uh, you know, what kind of team we'll have next year. I have to take a look at the free agency, who we're going to bring back, maybe make a couple more trades here and there. And uh, maybe next year we can make a little bit of a noise in the uh, West, maybe make a playoff run. So that's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye-bye.